Parable the Turkey Tackles Thanksgiving by W. M. Cuppernell. Animals on the farm enjoy the weather during fall, though there are some that do not, so we cannot say all. The turkey fears the coming of the cool weather. Thoughts of ending up on a dinner plate makes them shake in their feathers. This story is about a turkey that vowed to fight back to keep living. This is the story of how Terrible the Turkey tackles Thanksgiving. Terrible was the oldest turkey living on the farm. He had survived nine Thanksgivings without any harm. Every time it was his turn to become a meal, Terrible attacked and won his appeal. Farmer John and his kids would chase him all over the place. But every time Terrible was cornered, he fought with an angry look on his face. He always caused Farmer John and the children to give up. The farmer raised his hand in respect to Terrible while raising his cup. The farmer said, Okay, Terrible, you win again. But someday this will all end. For nine years in a row, you have been the winner. But next year, I promise, I will have you for dinner. Terrible just gobbled on as he did not believe. He did not know the farmer had something up his sleeve. All through the fall and all through the winter, Terrible roamed safe without even a splinter. In springtime, with the morning rain showers, he rejoiced he was still there to see the lovely spring flowers. In the hot summer months, he gobbled happily by the farm lake. Though the hot sun made him wonder, is this what it feels like to bake? He had a carefree summer, though fall time loomed in the distance. Terrible started to plan this year's resistance. All through September, October, and early November, he was left alone by the farmer's family members. They cooped up all the other turkeys but left him alone. Freely and proudly, Terrible did roam. Terrible felt at last he was fully free. But, like some things in life, this was not meant to be. For Farmer John was beginning to launch his plan. He was determined to show Terrible he was the man. While Terrible was becoming ever wiser with age, he suddenly awoke to discover he had been put in a cage. The farmer had put sleep pills into his cracked corn. This year the farmer needed to win because Terrible was in his side a big thorn. Terrible was no longer free. In his cage he felt cramped. But he had not given up on being the Thanksgiving champ. He knew the farmer liked his turkey always nice and so fresh. He had nearly two weeks for his plan to mesh. Terrible knew he faced the hatchet on Thanksgiving Eve, so he vowed to make this Thanksgiving hard to believe. For two weeks straight, Terrible was fed lots of food to make him grow plump. The farmer readied his hatchet he had placed on the stump. Farmer John smiled knowing after ten years he had won. He was finally going to have Terrible for Thanksgiving with gravy by the ton. Finally arrived the wondrous day, the farmer bragging to all, Today, old Terrible the turkey will be going away. Terrible was ready as the farmer with a hatchet entered the barn. He was going to go through the farmer like a needle goes through yarn. Terrible had seen his fair share of football games, and he liked how the players tackled. He wanted to do the same. He heard the farmer's boots as to his cage he did come. He readied his stand, thinking, this will be fun. He could see the axe shine, thinking, wow, this is sharp. He pictured himself as an angel playing his harp. Terrible pictured the hatchet like a ball he could spike. As the farmer raised his hand to strike, he imagined Farmer John said, ready, hike. Terrible tore out of the cage like a cornered bull. He went after the farmer as if there were no rules. The farmer was knocked flatly as if hit by a car. Terrible began to run, but was so plump he did not get far. The farmer went back to his house to get his gun. 
He was so angry he fumed about what was to come. Farmer John yelled, That's it! Terrible attacked me and got mud all over my suspenders. I am going to shoot him now and I will never surrender. As Terrible was too plump to run, he hid behind a big tree. The farmer searched all day, but Terrible's hiding place he did not see. The farmer cried not finding Terrible. He felt the sting of defeat. He had to go to the market to buy a frozen turkey on Thanksgiving to eat. But Terrible was not done. He wanted to put an end to it all. On Thanksgiving Day, Terrible planned to come call. The very next day, the Thanksgiving holiday, Terrible waited until the family sat down to dinner. He wanted to show them all the turkey would be the winner. Every year, the farmer's family would watch football while eating their meal. And just like last year, this year was the same deal. He could hear the family talking and cheering on their team. So Terrible planned to tackle the feast like a bad dream. Terrible rang the doorbell and heard Farmer John groan as the other team did score. Oh, no. Reluctantly, he got up and shuffled to the door. When the farmer saw it was terrible, he froze in his place. His jaw fell open and he had a frightened look on his face. Like a football player seeking the quarterback to sack, the farmer ducked luckily as terrible attacked. He missed the farmer but went right for the feast. Everyone fled the table quickly, to say the least. Terrible hit the table hard. Gravy and cranberries fell all over the place. The mashed potatoes went everywhere, filling every space. As for the turkey, he knocked it at once to the ground. There would be no turkey this year. The farmer stared with a frown. He went into the kitchen for the pumpkin pie and hit the table so hard it flew up in the sky. He then ran out the back door to make his escape and got out the door without even a scrape. The farmer never would again try to put him on a plate. He left him alone to the present date. Remember the story, for he is out there still living, about how terrible the turkey tackled Thanksgiving. The End